it. He's lost six straight division series starts. This isn't going to help. Fernando Vina leading off, and Tony Womack got some bad towards on that throw. That's an air. Not a good start at all. Two batters later, Jimmy Edmonds, lefty versus lefty, and Boomer talking about it. Oh, this one is hit a long way to right. Back it goes. Back, 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 back. Gone! Turn around 93 miles an hour. It'll go a long way. Only second lefty homer allowed by Johnson in the postseason. Johnny Olrud got him back in 99, as you can see. Cardinals pleased. Bottom first, Arizona's cut the lead 2-1. Matt Williams, base knock. Junior Spivey coming home. Albert Pujols, Holzich. Got him and got him by a lot. Let's take a look at Sweet Lou's arm. That's one of the five tools you got to be able to throw. And he does. Ernest Jr. Spivey, we will not have a 2-2 game. We will have a 2-1 game, and it stays the same. Bottom third, Morris facing Spivey. And, well, the Cardinals just they defended Spivey just fine, thanks. Scott Rowland, good ups in the throw. Got him, at least according to Bill Miller. I don't know about Okay, Frage, Bob Brindley begged to differ. Let's look at it again, because certainly we can't fault Rowland's effort. He gets up there and makes a fine play. As for Bill Miller, well, perhaps he's got a little Don Deckinger in it. At least that one goes for the cards this time around. Tough call, but Miller's going to stick with it. Later in the third, Quentin McCracken, two men on. Going to shoot one past Edgar Renteria. Got a little Mo Vaughn in that batting stance when he does that. Steve Finley coming home, and this time he's in ahead of the throw. 2 2 ball game. Top four at the bottom. The unit trying to buckle down. Unit hot in September. 5 0 in ERA. 0.66. Uh uh. Albert Pujols drive to right center, and that's down. That's going to rattle. Pujols going to have time to make a couple of lefts. Going to go 270 feet for the triple. He is in the leadoff. Next batter, next pitch, Scott Rowland. Rowland, 167 average, 18 Ks and 30 career at bats against Johnson, so I guess he was due. About that time. Two run shot. Johnson done after six innings pitched, he's out. Top seven, Greg Swindell. With the base, Chuck Mike Matheny lays it down. The squeeze is good, the run scores, and more runs will score when Mark Grace can't handle the throw. Eight, two in favor of the cards. Now they're really piling on, because Matt Morris coming to the dish. Morris last year in game one lost a great pitcher's duel to Kurt Schilling, 1-0, one one some folks would say. He's going to get two right here all his own. Two runs single for Morris, makes it 10-2 cards. Jimmy Edmonds likes that. Everybody's a hitter. 12-2 is going to be your final. For the cards, that's the second highest run total they have put up in a postseason game ever. That's saying something. The most, 13, they dropped on the beer makers in 82 in the series in game six. Edmonds, three for four. Knight in 351, six homers, 17 ribs, and 14 career postseason games. Morris, phenomenal. Seven innings pitched, seven hits, one earned run. As for Johnson, 10 hits allowed. That is a postseason career high. Here, here's pretty much how he rated that performance. When you get to postseason, it's, it's all about uh, the one game that you're going to perform in. And, uh, you know, obviously, I, I feel very, uh, very bad that I put the, the team in a hole uh, right from the get-go. I, I totally tribute the, the offense for battling against probably the best pitcher, uh, you know, for a long time. Randy's been been out there battling, and uh, you know, it's just it's it's exciting for all of us. Uh, it's definitely a day for our offense, though. Has not been in the cards for Johnson in the playoffs against St. Louis the last two years. Mal Odorous, I believe. <laughs> 0-2, an ERA of 5 plus, three homers allowed, just 14 frames. Big unit, 5-0, ERA of 1.08 against all other postseason opposition over this time. I'm just struggling. I'm not, I wasn't doing well. Um, I guess people have a hard time accepting the fact that sometimes you just don't do the job. Well, he certainly did the job on this night after the first runner got on base. J.D. Drew, Jim Edmonds, Albert Pujols go down on strikes. Schilling strikes out the side in the first. Top three, two out. It's J.D. Drew again, and this time Drew got it. Getting a great fastball on the outer edge the other way and gone. Second career home run in the postseason for Drew, both off the Schilling. The ball that JD hit out was a ball I've gotten him out with quite a bit, and uh, you know I, I had a, made the pitch I wanted to make, and, uh, and he, I still got beat. The guy on the other, I guess, side of the rubber or mound, Chuck Finley against Matt Williams. Boomer, take it away. Williams, though, times this one, sends it way back in center field. Back, 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 back. 
but not far enough. Yeah, Chuck Finley dodges a bullet there. Bottom five, two on, two out. Junior Spivey to Scott Rowland. Finley, six and a third scoreless, seven strikeouts, and he's out dueling Kurt Schilling into the seventh. Two outs, runner on first, and that runner is Finley. Fernando Vina, four for five on the day, base hit. Runners on the corners now with two out. Schilling would uncharacteristically walk the bases loaded now to face Jim Edmonds. Two and two, two out bases checked. And Edmonds swinging on the splitter. Schilling gets out of the jam. Bottom seven, two on, two out. Still one nothing. Rick White in for Finley. Junior Spivey grounds to Scott Rowland and Alex Cintron, the pinch runner, just collides into him, knocks right into him, out on clear runner interference. Rowland out of the game with a sprained left shoulder. More on that in a moment. Replaced by Albert Pujols in the eighth. No outs, and of course the ball's gonna find Pujols. Greg Colburn rounds to short, and Pujols cuts in front of Renteria and boots it. Bottom eight, two outs. It's Colburn still on first. Quinton McCracken rips this one right. It's off the wall, and Colburn Come on down, running with two outs. And an unearned run ties the game in the eighth. Tony La Russa bumming, Bob Brenly loving. Let's go to the ninth. One out, runner on second. It's Renteria, Miguel Cairo base hit off of Mike Coplo. Renteria, come on down, throws cut off. Cards up two to one. Cairo's loving. Schilling can't even watch anymore. Last chance for the Diamondbacks. Staring an 0-2 hole in the series in the face. Down a run. Jason Isringhausen gets Junior Spivey swinging. Izzy is pumped. And the Cards beat the big unit and outlast Schilling and head home with two chances to knock off the world champs. But of course, any post-game celebration was dampened by the injury to Scott Rowland. X-rays negative, sprained shoulder is your diagnosis, but it seems the Cards will have to try and close out the D-backs without rolling. I do think that his continuing to play, for sure in this series, it would be, is very questionable and hold our fingers crossed for tomorrow. And I, I think there's a, you know, there's a chance that uh, he might have he might played his last game. Certainly didn't expect to leave here down 2-0, but uh, it is what it is, and uh, we're going to have to find a way to right the ship. 48 hours to get this thing going. Show up Saturday and be ready to play. That, that's all you can do. There's no, uh, there's no pep talks. There's no magic words that are going to uh, suddenly uh, make everything okay. You just keep grinding. You keep playing the game, and you keep doing the things you've been successful doing and hope for the best. The Cardinals are only the fifth team in the last 30 years to defeat 20 game winners in back-to-back -back games of a playoff series. They are, however, the first and only team in Major League history to pull off such a feat on the road. Just hanging by the pool, <laughs> golf four days a week. It's horrible. Daryl Cowell, of course, remembered in the dugout for the Cardinals, trying to win one for DK and, of course, Jack Buck. But early on, the D-backs trying to prevent that sweep, and you never know. Win three in a row. Dave DeLucci Gross, no relation. Two run shot. There's Scott Rowland. He's out. Shoulder sprain. Miguel Cairo in. Runner on third. Two outs. Clutch. Here comes Albert Pujols to make it two to one. Top of four. Now tied at two. Andy Bennis facing the Rubio Durazo. Durazo. Tough hop right there. Fernando Vina makes a great play. Good job, four. Good D. Of course, his bat's been outstanding all series long. Two two in the fourth. Oh, Cairo right in the bum. He looks uncomfortable. Batista hits Cairo later in the inning. Runners in the corners. We got a squeeze. And it works. Andy Bennis gets the job done. Cairo scores three two cards. Here comes St. Louis's bullpen. Top of five, four, three. Two on, two out. Finley to left off Facero. Chris Donalds tries to score. No. He is out. Pulls the strong throw from left field. Yes. Bennis loves it. Score stays 4-3. Here it is again. Pujols plays everywhere for this team the last couple of years. Wherever he goes, strong. Sixth inning, two outs, one-two pitch. Vasero gets a call on the inside corner. All right, there's Rick White. More bullpen help. Look at the nasty hammer to Tony Womack. Later, Steve Klein is frat party puke rag. He is on top of his head. 
against Matt Williams. He gets thrown out by Mike Matheny. Three up, three down. Bottom eight now. Still just a one-run game. Cardinal bullpen strong. How about Arizona? Cairo deep to left. Bellucci almost makes an outstanding career catch. Just misses. Here comes Tino. Yanks didn't want him. Cards love to have him. He scores, and the Cards have a two-run lead. Top of nine. One out away from sweeping the defending champions, Isringhausen. Six to three now. Vina backing up again, makes a nifty play, and the Cardinals have done it. Their season, which was so difficult to deal with from the death of Jack Buck, of course, the tragic death of Daryl Kyle. They remember Kyle as Kerry Robinson brings his jersey on the field. Perhaps an extra flow of celebration, a big release for St. Louis after all they've been through. They sweep. Counting the regular season, St. Louis has beaten Arizona seven straight times. St. Louis now off until Wednesday. They'll play, of course, game one on that night against either Atlanta or San Francisco. They have lost so much this season. It makes the wins feel extra good, but not for Bob Brenly and the defending champs. I would like to commend the Cardinals organization for everything they've been through this year, the adversities that they've been able to overcome to this point, and uh, wish them the best of luck. This has always been a tremendous baseball city. Uh, that Cardinals team is a very motivated, versatile bunch of players out there, and uh, we wish them the best of luck. This is awesome. I mean, to, to be able to beat the Diamondbacks, the world champs, they're, they're, they're a class act over there, and, and uh, to beat them and, and uh, move on to the next round is, is special. I went out there and, and have fun, you know, uh, I take this game like a, another game, like a regular season game, and I just got to say thank you to, to Tony. They, they give me that the opportunity. You know, Golden Spring training was one at a time, you know, win the division and advance from there, and um, uh, we've just been playing great baseball lately. Um, we had a tough series against Arizona. We just found ways to beat them, and, uh, you know, hopefully we continue playing this, this way next round and uh, keep the champagne flowing. Everyone talks Zona pitching. It was St. Louis pitching. They hold D-back batters to a 184 average.